Hello, this is Ivan for watchandlearn.com and this series we are going to be talking about WordPress custom queries. As you will see, WordPress custom queries are what makes a difference in WordPress. So a lot of people like to say, well, WordPress is just a blogging platform. If you take a look at these videos, you will see that WordPress is not just a blogging platform and if you master uh, WordPress custom queries you can do pretty much anything you want with WordPress. So what those queries actually are? Well WordPress custom queries are, are a way for you to display the data on your site in whatever way you want. As you will see we are going to be doing some basic, exa uh, basic examples of that and then we are going to move to more advanced examples and I'm going to show you how you can use, uh, how you can do something like custom searches, making filters for your site and so on. WordPress custom queries are very power powerful thing. If you've been watching uh, my Drupal series there are something like uh, views for WordPress but you uh, do them uh, exclusively, exclusively in PHP you don't have a UI for them and I would even say that just because of that they're a bit more flexible. What you will be needing for this series is a fresh or even not so fresh installation of Word WordPress. Uh, WordPress comes with custom queries by default of course. Uh, also, you can install this FakerPress plugin so you can generate some content uh, for your site. I generate some posts, some categories and some tags. Uh, of course, you will be needing a theme. You can use whatever default theme comes with WordPress. You can use your own theme. You can use Olympus theme that I'm using right here. It has just a little bit of styling. so. Uh, that it doesn't look hideous. And uh, one last thing I want to mention is that everything that I'm doing here is going to be available for you on GitHub. So if you go, this is one of my previous series, so one page up with Drupal and View. So for every episode you have, if you go to releases right here, you have the source code that you can download if you don't want to write uh, your own code and you can just copy and paste it into your project. And I think that's about it for series introduction. Right now in this episode we are going to, uh, I'm going to show you what uh, custom queries are, how they are different from the standard WordPress loop and we are going to do some basic examples of custom queries. So right here I have some posts and uh, this is the front page of my site. So let's say I want to display some of those posts on my front page. I would go to my theme which is called Olympus. I would go to index.php which is the first file that's going to be loaded if you go to the URL of uh, your WordPress installation. And then uh, you would do something like this. So this is the standard way you would uh, do this. You would do this a standard uh, WordPress loop also called the loop. So if have posts while well have posts the posts and this is creation for content here. So you will be learning some creation in this episode. Okay, so if we have posts, well, have posts the post. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, and then you can uh, display the fields that the WordPress uses to display uh, posts. So let's say we want to display the titles. So these are the titles. Uh, we would you do just something like this: PHP the title. And that's it. I'm just going to add a BR tag right here so that we have every title in the separate line. Save it, go to our site and as you can see we have those posts right here. I don't know why they are not uh, right here. Let me just see. Oh, so they are not in the container. I'm sorry. 
I should have put them in this container div. So if we save this, now they are here. So we are displaying some posts. Right now we are displaying 10 posts. Okay, so what if your client comes to you and says, uh, I wanna display 20 posts on my front page. Well, easy enough, you would just go to settings, reading, and then you would do 20 right here, save changes, and now you would have 20 posts. And that's about it. Uh, with what you can do with that standard loop. Of course, uh, 20 posts will be shown on your archive pages, on your category pages, on your user pages, wherever you go in WordPress, there will be 20 posts. So that is a problem if uh, your client comes to you, well, I want to have, I don't know, five posts on the front page and I want to have uh, 20 posts on my category page and I want to have uh, display uh, four users on my uh, author pages and so on. So that's a bit of a problem. And as you can see, these are the only options that you have in WordPress for setting that up. Now comes the WordPress custom query. So let's say our client says to us, well, I want you to display just five posts on the front page. You can of course go right here and change that. Or you can go to your index.php, delete this, and then you set up your custom query for displaying five posts. So how would you do that? You would just do PHP, <coughs> And then you have to set up some arguments. So WordPress custom query or uh, WP query object has a lot of arguments. And I will leave this link for you uh, in the description below because it lists all the arguments that you can use in WP query. As you can see, uh, there go from simple ones to something like this while doing meta queries and so on, which we will be covering in this series uh, that are a little bit more complicated. So this is the list from Bill Erickson and I use this page quite often when I wanna quickly uh, see what uh, all of these arguments do. So we have to set up some arguments. We're not going to be using this page in this episode because we're going to be doing uh, some basic stuff but let's set up some arguments. So we do args. Of course, you can call this variable whatever you want. You can call it conditions or whatever you want. And you just do equals array. And then you set up array of values. So array of conditions that uh, that type of data should be displayed as. So first of all, what do we want to display? We want to display posts. Easy enough, you just do post type. Post type. You don't do equals, but you do this error right here. And you say the post type should be post. So you can have many post type. Uh, post types, especially if you're using custom post types, so you can have uh, two, three, five of custom post types, and you can display them all with WordPress custom queries. Okay, but since we only have posts right now, we are going to display post. And then, well, our, our client said, I want you to display only five posts. Is enough. You just say posts per page. It's in English. So post per page is going to be five and that's it. You set up your ar arguments. Now you have to create a new WP query object and we're going to call that object just query. Okay, query equals to new WP query. And that a new object uh, needs to receive some arguments to display that the data. We define those arguments right here, so we would just do args. And that's it. Now you have to make your loop. This loop is pretty similar to the standard WordPress loop. So uh, you would do something like while. 
So while we while this query has posts, so have posts, then display that post for that query, of course. Query the post. And that's it. Now you have your loop. And we have to close that loop somehow. So we would close it with, of course, since we have while right here, we would close it with end while. And then <coughs> we can, uh, we have to do something else. So uh, whenever you open up a new query, and if you have a query down below uh, on your page, you have to reset the query. So it, so it doesn't screw up uh, the next query you would have on that page or even standard WordPress loop. So you would do WP reset query and that's it. So WP reset query and now we're done. All that's uh, left to do is we have to display something uh, in that loop. So just like the previous example, let's just display the titles of uh, our query. So I'm just going to do h5 right here and do php the title. Save it and if we go right here now we have just five posts. If I wanted to show seven posts I would do just this. And now we have seven posts. If I want to show one post I will have one post. As you can see this is pretty easy. So you just define your arguments, uh, define your new WP, uh, WP query object, uh, pass it some arguments right here, and then you create your loop and start displaying the data on your site. Okay, so let's uh, do a few more examples before we finish with this video. So let's say we are going to have 10 posts right here. Okay, now we have 10 posts, but your client comes to you and says, okay, so you're now displaying uh, those posts uh, from the newest to the oldest. Uh, I want you to display them from the oldest to the newest. Easy enough. You would just go to order, order, and you said, say descending. So it's going to automatically display your posts uh, by date. Uh, we will learn later how you can change that, but for now you just do DESC descending, save them, save it, I'm sorry, uh, it should be ascending, ASC, and now uh, we are displaying our post from the oldest, which is this one, to the newest which is this one if you are displaying 10 posts. Okay, so let's say our user wants, uh, our client actually wants for you to display a featured post, just one featured post, and then uh, he wants all of the other posts to be displayed differently. So we can do something like this. We are going to display just one post uh, put it in a div called featured so we have it in a div called featured I'm just going to open my CSS and I'm going to say featured is going to be is going to have padding of 20 pixels and background of EF, EF, EF. Okay. Uh, and that should be it. So if we save it right now, we should have one post and it's going to be in this block right here. Uh, I'm just going to change the color of that block to be something like red just so we can see it better. It doesn't look so good, but we can see it better. Okay, so our user wants this post to be featured, so displayed like this, but let's say he wants another five posts 
displayed a different way. So what you can do is you can just go and create a new query. I'm just going to copy all of this out. So we're going to create a new query. It's also going to be a calling posts, but it's going to be displaying five posts. And uh, we are going to remove this featured right here. And then I'm just going to set this to be P tag. Okay, save this. And now we have our featured post and we have five of our not so featured posts. Uh, what else can we do? Because the client will look at this side, but okay, we have hello world featured post right here, but uh, why is it showing up right here also? Okay, so you would say to him, uh, so we are not going to display in this list, we are not going to display this hello world post. So static way of doing this would be if you go to hello world and check the post uh, ID. So you can check it down here when I sc scroll over with the mouse and it says post equals one. So that's the ID of the post. So what you can do you can go right here and say post not in you have to do two uh, underscores right here so post not in and then uh, this is a little bit different so you wouldn't give it just the ID of the post but you have to create an array so you do uh, array and then you can put as many posts in here as you want so we want uh, the post with the ID of, of one not to show in this query so if we save this go to our page as you can see we have one two three four five posts but the hello world is not showing up of course you wouldn't do this the static way you would do it the, the dynamic way so what you can do you can just go right here and you can create a variable called uh, don't show this guy of course you wouldn't call it like this but and you would do post ID so don't show this guy variable uh, is going to uh, be one if we do echo right here it should be one as you can see so this is the ID of this hello world post so we don't want to do it statically we don't want to uh, have to hard code that ID right here instead we create a variable which is uh, going to carry our uh, post ID and then we just put it right here so don't show this guy and that's it we can delete this and we get the same result. So we don't have hello world right here, but we are displaying five posts. Okay, so I think that's about it for the first episode. As you can see, uh, WordPress custom queries can be super powerful. Uh, you can do pretty much anything uh, with them and you can make your site to be as complex as you need it to be uh, if you understand and master WP query object and WordPress custom queries. So thank you for watching this episode. If you like it, please like it. If you like the channel, please subscribe to it. You can follow me on Twitter or on Facebook. Uh, remember, all the code that we used right here will be available for you in the on the GitHub repository. Link will be in the description below. Uh, and that's it. I will see you in the next episode.